Sorry, Fujifilm, but uh, this is the one time where... <laughs> <laughs> um, this is what I'm going to be bringing tomorrow to the Arabian Horse Fair. Now you might be asking, why would I use this instead of a really... Because this lens is so, oh my god, heavy. It's unbelievable. This lens is not heavy. This lens is, oh my god, it's heavy. The reason I'm going to be bringing this lens tomorrow for the Arabian Horse Fair is separation, saturation, compression. Lens compression. Uh, by the way, yeah, in the interview with uh, world-famous supermodel photographer Benjamin Canarac, this is the exact same lens he actually uses. I've had this lens now for quite some time. Same lens he uses for model photography. He's like, why would you use this gigantic, enormously, obnoxiously heavy lens for uh, fashion photography? Uh, well, all you have to do is take pictures with this, and uh, it will make your uh, crotch instantaneously burst into flames. Uh, separation, saturation, and lens compression make this absolutely, it's untouchable. The front element on this thing is like looking into the face of God, and so are the images produced by same. So this is where, you know, Nikon owns it, Nikon owns it in buffer, high ISO, and really big glass, really big glass. By the way, there is no chance in hell Sony is ever going to catch up to this sort of... This, this lens, by the way, is made like a tank and weighs as much as a tank. And uh, so I'm actually not going to bring it with uh, this body. I'm going to bring it with the Nikon D810. However, it's perfectly fine on the D500 here. It's actually better than D500 for the Arabian Horse Fair because of uh, autofocus tracking. This lens is rather old, but this is an AFS, and uh, it's actually got really fast uh, tracking. It uh, has a, a true... Uh, Hubless silent wave uh, motor in it, so yes, it is um, as obnoxiously heavy as it looks uh, from uh, this little video right here. So, this is the one video, not the one, but this is a video where I go, Nikon! Nikon! Nikon!